classic rock that rocks right here on 94.1 KRNA, online, krna.com. It's James and Mike having a cup of coffee here, like a couple of uh, <laughs> suave, men smooth do guys, on a, uh, yeah. Tuesday morning. Men of a day. certain age. So we have a uh, special guest in the studio. Uh, her resume, it's it's very long, so I'm just going to say uh, a big celebrity here in Eastern Iowa. Put your hands together for Shelly Till, yeah, everybody. Yeah, Shelly, welcome to the show. Thank Shelley you, thank Till. you. She's from the key city of Dubuque. That's right. And uh, can you get her mic turned on Sorry. there, pal? See, this is... <laughs> Did you really want me here, producer Mike? <laughs> I know, right? It's like... <laughs> He doesn't like his thunder I don't push, to be I don't stolen. push as many buttons as I think I do. All right. <laughs> or maybe I push too many. So you do broadcasting work with the Big Ten Network. You've done coaching. You played. You had a daughter that played at the University of Iowa. And now you have a son, Riley, who redshirted this season. Now, we're going to start off with that right away. You got any behind-the-scenes stuff you can tell us about this team as they're about to take on Indiana in the Big Ten tournament on Thursday? Well, I can tell you that they are immensely excited and uh, they are just having a blast. I mean, this is a, a group of, as everyone knows, very young men who have come together led by a senior in, in Peter Jock. And I think uh, they've surprised a lot of people, quite frankly. And they're, you know, early on in the season, I think people were a little uh, concerned where the Hawks were mm -hmm. going to end up this year, but they have started to gel just like, I mean, I, I ha told people several times this year, you have to remember a vast majority of these guys were riding a yellow school bus to games last year. Yeah. True story. They were, they were still in high school. True story. So, and now you're throwing them, you know, it's like baptism by fire, throwing <laughs> them know. into the Big Ten. But they're excited. Yeah, who would have thought the young guys would be doing what they are? I mean, it's it's kind of like Hoosiers in a way. This whole thing is coming together, and it's pretty exciting. It's very exciting, and they're pumped to go to D.C. and, and yeah. get a chance to play the Hoosiers again. Now, we know uh, from the wins and losses how important it was to win those last two games. How important was that to this team's psyche as they get a chance to now go into this Big Ten tournament? Yeah. That's huge, um, especially with a group of young players. You know, uh, they are learning, and it's there's so much to learn. And I don't think people appreciate the difference it is in, in level of play going from high school to college. The, the pace of the game is so much faster. And so... Um, they're just, I think winning <laughs> cures a lot of things and sure it also does. builds confidence. And so, and what's huge for these guys, I think is look at the number of overtime games that they've had, right. that they've come out clutch. Yeah. I mean, yep. and our local hero, Jordan Bohannon mm -hmm. nailing threes I to know. win games or to put them into overtime or even hitting clutch free throws. That's those kinds of things will pay off for the next four years for this group of young men. As their maturity develops and those uh, opportunities come up, win or lose, they can they can learn as much from the losses, but they can also uh, gain that maturity and confidence from those victories. Absolutely, and, and they're having so much fun doing it, and I think it's kind of cool. I know in speaking to Riley, you know, he, as you mentioned, he's redshirting this year. There's six other freshmen, yeah. um, a, a slew of sophomores as well, so it's kind of like they're all in this together yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And we got to give credit where credit is due. Uh, we're very lucky to have a coach like Fran McCaffrey leading the group. He may be a little intense at times. In fact, he yelled at me not too long ago, but I was in the huddle with a camera, and I know I wasn't supposed to be there. So, Fran, if you're listening, I apologize. But this guy's getting it done, isn't he? He's he getting is. it done. Yeah, he absolutely is. And and, and he brings a fire, uh, as you mentioned, oh, yeah. to the sideline. He it's... scared me. How many coaches have you seen and dealt with uh, in your career here as far as, like, I mean, in your – Time. He's asking Steve Alford. Yeah, that's uh, why I'm, uh, I'm the new guy in town. Um, Todd, I forget yeah. Todd's last name. <laughs> well, there was Steve and there was Todd. <laughs> no, yes. there's Slick Slick lighter. It was a joke. Yes, yes. Um, Todd and and then Fran were uh, came in during yeah. my time that I was working with Hawkeye Sports. Yeah. So before we take a break, uh, before we play Photograph, actually, talk about your all your broadcasting that you've done, because you and I have worked together mm -hmm. at Big Ten Network. She's done Iowa Radio. You've kind of been all over the map. How did you get into broadcasting? You know, I got asked by uh, a buddy of mine, Jay Wickham. Wow. Um, he, he was working for Mediacom, and we were, he, he said, I need help doing a high school boys game. Do you want to come and sit with me and call the game? I'm like, sure, why not? I've been coaching. I can talk basketball. Sure. And that's kind of how it started. I started doing some, some work there, and then it led into the opening with Hawkeye Sports to be on the radio and call all the Iowa women's games. 
And then one thing led to another, and I ended up on TV, and here I am. Oh, the bug <laughs> bit you, didn't it? Wow. And the you, bug yeah. bit. And, and big-time TV. We'll talk more about that coming up with the Big Ten Network, as well as a little bit more about the women's program. We talk men, we'll talk women's, too. We're talking with Shelly Till from the Big Ten Network on 94.1 KRNA. There's more after this.